Good morning, Don Lane, Fraser Valley News. Your morning news update for this Saturday, October the 3rd, wearing the uh, Chilliwack Chiefs colors. Exhibition season actually started last night. Uh, no fans in the stands, but at least they're playing some hockey. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, Going to be an interesting day uh, today. Uh, when it comes to, first off, politics, late last night, it was finally confirmed Jason Lum will run as an independent in the Chilliwack-Kent riding against Lori Thronis. And, of course, October the 24th is Election Day in the province. Now, we uh, Fraser Valley News will be posting the all the candidates' names that we have uh, for the Fraser Valley and uh, also the link to Elections BC if you need more information. Also, by the way, uh, now that uh, the uh, candidates have been locked in, are you going to do uh, a mail-in ballot? Because mine came in the mail, so hopefully yours did too. Election BC will have all the information uh, if you need it. Need it. Um, mail-in ballots have already been sent out, so you can uh, go to advanced polling. Just make sure you have identification, your BC ID card, healthcare card, et cetera, et cetera. All that information is up on Elections BC. Now, uh, Chilliwack Safety Fair, that is on today. Hazardous Waste Day is also today. All that information up on FBN. And when it comes to Fantasy Farms, PD's Pumpkin Patch, which is an outdoor event, starts today. Part of the Reapers attraction will be outdoors because it can't be indoors. There is that continued dispute with City of Chilliwack Engineering. That having been said, a protest uh, to try and uh, persuade the Chilli City of Chilliwack to change its mind and allow Reapers, let alone other indoor activities of Fantasy Farms, happen sooner rather than later. That's happening at noon today at Chilliwack City Hall. So it's going to be an interesting day. Chill TV's uh, four-part series, part number two, episode two of The Rail Choice. Looking at rail options in the valley, there are two groups that a lot of people get to confused with. One is rail for the valley. The other is the South Fraser Community Rail. Those people are Bill Vanderzam and Rick Green. And uh, I had a chance to talk to Rick Green uh, very extensively uh, about this. Episode 2 is now up on the Chill TV YouTube channel as well on, as, as FVN. Uh, looks like it's going to be a decent day with a little bit of wildfire smoke. Highs around 23, 24, if we get there. Uh, although it was a harvest moon last night and it lasted late, well, not late into the morning, but up till about mm, 7 o'clock this morning. So it was rather pretty. If there's something we should know about, let us know. FVN at Shaw.ca. FVN at Shaw.ca. Have a great day. Don Lane, Fraser Valley News.